Hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn how to create an Android and iOS application without any coding skills. To learn how to create an app without coding, please follow along until the end of the video. First, open a browser and visit the google.com website. Now, search for the gadgetsfocus.com website in the search engine. Click on gadgetsfocus.com from the list. Once the website loads, click on the search icon in the top right corner. Then, search for Mobile Roller in the search box and select the relevant Mobile Roller post. Scroll down, find the label for Mobile Roller website and click on it. This will redirect you to the Mobile Roller website. Click on the Try it for free button at the top right. If you don't already have an account, click on Sign up to create one. As I already have an account, I'll just log in using the Sign in with Google option. Once signed in, click on the Create new app button at the top right. Enter a creative name for your application, then click Next. You'll see a variety of templates. Select a template that suits your app. I'll choose this cafe template for my app. Now it will start creating your app. As you can see, the app generation is complete. Click on OK. Next, click on your application to open your app status. Click on Enter your app info, where you can update your app name and select a logo. To add a logo, click on Pick image and then choose image. Select your logo, then click Save and confirm by clicking Yes, I'm sure. Now click on Select your splash image, then choose your splash screen image and save it by clicking Save. Now click on the Add Content option from the App Status list. In this section, we can add customized content to our app. Here, you can see a variety of modules that can be added to your app. Let me add a custom HTML screen to my app. To do so, just click on the Add to App button for this module. Now give a title to this module. Since I want to add a cafe menu list in this module, I will enter Menu as the title. Next, I want to add HTML and CSS code to this module, so I will click on the source code icon. To write the source code for the menu in HTML and CSS, visit the ChatGPT website. Then, ask ChatGPT to create an HTML and CSS source code within a single file to design a responsive menu list. Be sure to include full details of the menu items, their prices, and any other details you want to appear in the menu list. Write the prompt with all necessary details to ensure the menu list meets your needs. Once you enter the prompt, ChatGPT will generate a well-designed source code for you. As you can see, the source code for the menu list has been successfully generated. Now, let's test it by copying the source code and pasting it into the menu module we created earlier. Click on the Save button. As you can see, the menu list is beautifully designed. Click Save again to finalize it. Now I want to include a new content page. Click on Add to App in the custom HTML screen module from the list. Then, give a title for this module. Since I want an About page, simply write About in the title box. Next, click on the source code icon. Go to the ChatGPT website, open the same thread where we created the code for the menu and ask ChatGPT to Write about page content in the same design as above. It will generate the source code for the about page in the same style. Copy the source code.
go to the application tab and paste the source code there. Now, click on the save button. You can see the about page content is beautifully aligned with the theme of the menu content. You can edit the about page content like this. Make your changes. Then click on save again. Click on Save once more. Next, I want to add a link to my website in this app. Click on the Add to App button for the website module. Write down the title. Copy your website link. And paste it into the link section. Click on Save. To add a photo gallery to my app, click on Add to App in the Photo Gallery module. Give a title to the gallery module and make any changes if desired. Select Appearance from the list. Then click on Select Photos and choose all the images you want in your photo gallery. Click on Upload all photos and wait for the upload to complete. Once the upload is done, click Save. Now, let's review the module list. As you can see, there are many options available. If you want to include another option, just follow the same process. I want to add another module, a map. To add a map to my app, click on Add to App in the Map module. Select the type of map you want. Write a title for the map module. and choose the location you want displayed in your app. Click Save. If you want to add more modules, you can create any content you want in your app using the same steps. Let's proceed to the final app creation. Click on My Apps in the left side menu then select your app. To generate an Android app, click on the Generate App button. Then click Next. If you want to include certain permissions in your app, check the boxes for the required permissions. You can change the package name from here. Now, click on the Generate App button to start generating the app. This process will take some time, so please wait. You will be informed via email when your final application APK is ready. After some time, please refresh the dashboard page. To download the app, just click on App Details and then Download APK file. This will download the APK file of your app. To install this app on your Android phone, open Google Drive and upload the APK file.
Once the upload is complete, it's time to install the app on your phone. Open the Google Drive app on your phone, locate the uploaded APK file and click on it. Select the package installer. After a few moments, the installation will begin. If you see a security message, allow the necessary permissions. Then, click on the Install button, followed by the Open button. As you can see, the app is successfully installed on your phone. Now, let's check the app. It looks amazing and its functionality meets our requirements. You can review all the content we included in the app, one by one. If you want to make changes, go to the Mobile Roller website and apply the modifications. Please subscribe to our channel so you can watch more of our amazing video tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching.